Welcome to the special news channel. The operations carried out by the Ukrainian armed forces show that there is still a large force in the Donbas. After the northeastern offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces, the Russian army fled to Donbas and formed a more crowded structure there. However, Russia is losing millions of dollars of military equipment on Ukrainian soil every day. Meanwhile, with the support of powerful Western weapons in the Ukrainian armed forces, new heroes are born every day. Russia's inability to achieve air dominance and the fact that cruise missiles have been fodder for air defense systems in Ukraine in recent days delay Russia's claims of victory. In fact, experts stated that Russia lost the moment it retreated for the first time after the siege of Kyiv in Ukraine. The Russian army, which has suffered continual defeats since then, has only been reported as fleeing in recent days. Yes, even if Ukraine has lost about 20% of its territory, it has been resisting, attacking and inflicting huge losses on the Russian army for four months. This achievement has already been recognized as a victory over Russia. Of course, this success is gained thanks to the Ukrainian heroes who are born every day. The sharpest swords of these Ukrainian heroes are American javelins, American M777 howitzers, American stingers, British NLAWs, British star streak and brimstones, and of course, Turkish Bayraktar TB2s. Bayraktar TB2 destroyed Russian outposts, bases, warships, command centers, and hundreds of Russian armored vehicles in the first phase of the war. Now in the second stage, with the superior performance of Bayraktar TB2s in the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces, the artillery can easily target and land the Russian columns. Even if putting claims to the contrary, the Russian air defense systems have not been seen to have any superiority over the Ukrainian Bayraktar TB2s. The inability of the Russian drones to do what Bayraktar TB2s did infuriates the Russian army and causes Putin to make black propaganda on behalf of Bayraktars day by day. In particular, the failure of Shaded 136 Kamikaze unmanned aerial vehicles brought to Russia from Iran by Putin showed everyone how the Bayraktar TB2s contributed. On the other hand, Russia's air dominance is hindered by British and American-made powerful and easy-to-use advanced weapons. In the published report, it was announced that a young sergeant from the 95th Air Assault Brigade shot down nine Russian unmanned aerial vehicles with the British Star Streak, one of the most powerful portable air defense systems in the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces. The press service of the Ukrainian Air Assault Brigade stated that nine drones that corrected and directed the shots of the Russian artillery were shot down by the sergeant and prevented Russian operations. In the report, it was announced that the young Ukrainian sergeant scrapped the Russian drones worth millions of dollars with British Star Street missiles and blinded the artillery of the Russian invaders. The Ukrainian airstrike group said it did not release the sergeant's name and photos for the soldier's safety. The Russian army, on the other hand, fell a step back in the long-range war in Ukraine after the attacks of such Ukrainian heroes. Unmanned aerial vehicles have a critical importance in terms of artillery attacks. The power of artillery is of great importance after unmanned aerial vehicles detect enemy targets. Otherwise, the target is largely missed with blind shots and these misses cause great damage to the exhausted inventory. The importance of long-range weapons, especially in the Kherson region, has been clearly understood in the last two months. The Ukrainian armed forces are firing at Russian targets from long ranges and they are launching ground operations against the enemy positions they have eroded as a result of these long-range attacks. As a result of these ground operations, the western part of the Dnieper River is almost completely cleared of Russian army units. The easy destruction of Russian unmanned aerial vehicles in this way provides a great advantage to the Ukrainian armed forces while hindering the operations and progress of the Russian army. British Star Streak portable air defense systems which undertake a great task together with Stinger missiles, largely prevent the Russian army from establishing air dominance. Since the first day of the war, air defense systems have played a role as a major destiny changer in the region. Together with their anti-tank missiles, they provided such a strong defense opportunity to Ukraine, and the Russian army could not pass this defense set, and the course of the war changed completely. The invasion of Kyiv, which was planned to last 72 hours, did not take place and the Russian army had to retreat. In this failure, Russia also made a great strategic mistake 
but the superiority of these weapons on behalf of Ukraine put Ukraine ahead. Starstreak is a British short-range surface-to-air missile that can be used as a man-portable air defense system or in heavier systems manufactured by Thales Air Defense, Belfast. It has also earned itself a reputation as a high-speed missile. Moving at more than three times the speed of sound, the missile uses a system of three dart-like projectiles that allows multiple shots at the target. The Starstreak high-speed missile can be fired from the shoulder, light multi-launches, or the Stormer armored vehicle. The missile's development began in 1984 when the British Army requested a new air defense missile system to supplement the Rapier missile system. The British Ministry of Defense awarded two companies for a one-year project definition. In June 1986, Starstreak was selected for system design and development. In October 1995, the British Ministry of Defense adopted the self-propelled high-speed missile system Trey named Starstreak. The news that the United Kingdom would ship these weapons to Ukraine fell like a bomb on the agenda. These systems, which provide high-speed air defense from such a long range, could change the balance in the region. In its statement, Moscow underlined that if the United Kingdom ships these weapons to Ukraine, these weapons will become acceptable targets for Russia. However, the shipment took place. Russia could not prevent Western armed shipments with empty threats, and the Ukrainian armed forces got the British Starstreak high-speed portable air defense systems. Starstreak's first operation in Ukraine was the shooting down of a Russian helicopter, and this seemed like just the beginning. The United Kingdom played a key role in supplying Ukraine with military supplies, in particular man-portable air defense systems, such as Javelins and NLWs. Arming Ukraine with laser-guided Starstreak weapons has found bipartisan support in the British Parliament. It was stated that the Ukrainian army used online networks for Starstreak training and completed their training in this way. Although this Starstreak missile can be launched from land, sea or air platforms, only land-based versions have been deployed to Ukraine during the war. This would have already exceeded the requirements of Ukraine. On land, the missiles can be shoulder-launched, such as manpads, or combined with portable, stand-type light multi-launchers, which can be mounted on light vehicles and carry three ready-to-fire shells. The first part of Starstreak's capability is its guidance system. Most manpads fire heat-seeking missiles that must lock onto the target's heat signature before being launched, and then autonomously sit on the target in fire-and-forget mode. Also, the Starstreak has a laser beam drive guide, meaning the missile is fired as soon as the target is detected in the optically stabilized site. Starstreak missile systems are much faster than the maximum speed of the Stinger anti-aircraft missile, can reach three times the speed of sound and have a range of seven kilometers. In other words, this speed means that the missile can travel 1,000 meters per second and destroy a target at seven kilometers in just seven seconds. Each missile carries three tungsten alloy darts. This cutting-edge technology continues to be a nightmare for Russian military aircraft these days. Putin's Air Force has lost over 3,000 aircrafts to date. More than 2,000 of these constitute unmanned tactical aerial vehicles, especially the shaded 136 Kamikaze unmanned aerial vehicles, which we mentioned earlier, are an easy target for the defense of Ukraine. The Russian army completely ceded the western part of Kherson and Kharkiv to the armed forces of Ukraine. Reports began to appear that soon the Ukrainian warriors would seize the whole of Kherson and Russian President Vladimir Putin began to seriously think that he had no choice but to dirty war, because his strategy will not be enough to invade Ukraine. 